As mentioned earlier on in these lessons, the view router is really flexible. Currently though, we are not using the full flexibility it offers. All we have is inside of this app.view, we have our two router links to switch between our paths. And we are outputting these inside of a single router view. So this isn't very flexible. This is just simply saying that we have our two links and all of the content from any additional links will always be in the same location. But let's change things around a little bit and see how we can deal with some different situations. Let's reinstate the user via simple path. And also we'll duplicate this and create a user account area. Inside the path, this is still going to be dynamic. So we can say forward slash account. And then we can place in our user ID. We have this up at the top, so it's user.id. And we also need to set this up inside of our routers index.js. And for this, copy any one of these routes. Paste this in. The name of account. And we'll also create a new component called account view. Remember, we changed the user section so we can remove the dynamic segments. But we do need to add this onto our account area. So this is forward slash account. We'll select the user ID, create a new view inside of our views folder, duplicate any one of these. This one is the account view. Clear all of this up. Some text inside of here. And we also do need to import this inside the router file. Copy and paste and this one is the account view. Okay, this should all be working fine now. We have the home, the user, and also the account. This is also pointing to our user ID and displaying the new component which we just created. So going back to the purpose of this video, we're going to take a look at nested routes. And the ID behind nested routes is using these links currently, we're replacing all of this section on the left because of our router view. But what about if we didn't want to, for example, replace the full account page? Instead, we maybe want to place some views below this, such as some previous orders, or even the user's profile. To see this as an example, let's go back into our views, and we'll create two new views. So copy and paste. This one is user orders. Let's change the text the orders and then copy and paste this one and this can be update profile change the text make sure both of these are saved into the app.view and we can link both of these down at the bottom with a router link so the first one is going to be update profile and a second one for our new view, which is previous orders. So as mentioned before, we don't want these two links to simply override all of the additional content above and display inside of our router view. Instead, since both of these new routes are linked to our account, it maybe makes sense to have both of these as child routes of this account. So it would look like this. We can copy this full two section. Paste this in, but instead of going to forward slash account, then user ID, we then link to update. And for our previous orders, this would look similar. This one would be forward slash orders. Save this and then go over to our routers index.js where we can import our two new views. So duplicate this twice. This one is update profile. this and add this to the path and the second one is for use orders this now leaves us in a position where we have two new routes to handle we have one path which will be for forward slash account and then forward slash we want to grab the user id so we want to use the colon for this we can store this inside of a variable and then forward slash update 
second one which you want to handle is the same but forward slash orders one option is to create two new router objects here for both of these urls this however is not ideal because as we've already talked about going to any one of these new views will replace the account page but we want to have these placed inside to deal with this inside of our account route object we can add a children array and this children array will declare which components should be nested inside of this top level account page and this is how it looks just after our components we'll place in the children array each one of these children is an object which is going to take in the path and also the components all we need to do is to add forward slash update but instead of adding this at the top level we add this inside of the child path so when we land on this url we're going to display the component which is update profile separated by comma we can also do forward slash orders which will render our user orders there we go so we've got our two routes handled we can now remove these and this should be all we need now to test this out. We've got our two new links at the bottom. Click on update profile. We can see straight away we go to forward slash account, then forward slash the user ID, which is this section just here, and then forward slash update. And also let's test out the previous orders. Click on this. Again, the same account, the user ID, and then forward slash orders is added to the end. Okay, so you may be thinking, great, we're inside the account view. We can see this text on the left, but we don't see any reference to our two children components. Well, for this, we need to tell Vue.js exactly where we want these components to display. If we go into the account view, the view router doesn't have any idea whereabouts we want to display this inside of the template. So we need to tell it by adding an additional router view. Okay, so let's go to our account without any of the additional contents below. Click on update profile. We see this text of update profile, which is just here. Finally, click on previous orders. There's our orders text, which we have set up here. So both of these are now displaying inside of the router view from our account. The formatting looks a little bit strange at the minute because of the CSS. And in fact, we can probably see this a little bit better if we go into the source. The assets we can move all the styling from here it should now look a little bit more clear we've got the account page at the top and then using our router view just below we can then see our nested child routes 